Questions for these two? Game one's under your belt now. How do you guys feel after the win? Great. It's been a long preseason. Um, a fun preseason, hard working one, but I feel good. I'm excited to be out here. Yeah, I'd say the same. I said that we played really well together. Um, we got to clean some things up for sure, but it was exciting, exciting to get out there and play in front of the fans. Sedona, for you, first game action since March of 2022. Just how, how does it feel to be back out there? Were there nerves, jitters? Um, absolutely, yeah. There were nerves in the first half, like when I first came out. Just like exhausted um, at first, just like, you know, realizing first that what's going on and where I'm at, um, that I'm under the bright lights again. So, um, yeah, I was really, you know, but I was excited. So it was once I got that and then um, just kept running and, and, and getting that out of my system, it was good. It was good. Reflect a little bit on the journey to get here. You know, miss all of last year with an injury. Here this year at TCU, you just talk about, you know, what's it mean to be out there again? Um, a lot. It means everything. Um, I've had a very long road from recovery um, and injuries, and it's just been such such a, hard, uh, a long process just to get back on the court and get healthy again. And so now being able to play. Um, in front of fans, in front of my family, uh, for the first time in such a long time with an amazing team and, and some of my closest friends, uh, it means the world to me. So I'm just glad to be playing again. Nice, and 30 point, 11 rebound, double double for you tonight. Um, is that <laughs> good reaction for your That's teammate amazing. there? Is, uh, how do you feel coming off of that performance and, and what was going for you out there tonight? Um, yeah, I felt great. Um, I mean, I missed two free throws to start the night, so I was kind of worried. Um, but besides that, I mean, I was just knocking down open shots. Um, my team was finding me the ball, and I feel like I took pretty good shots. So, yeah, it went in the group at the end. Coach Campbell said it might have even been a little bit of an off night shooting from the three point range for you tonight. Yeah, six or 13 is all right. <laughs> Not a terrible start, I guess. <laughs> all right. Guys, can you talk about your, uh, your vision on the court? I noticed there was a moment, start of the fourth quarter, you passed up an open three to find Sedona low. You just talk about your field of vision when you're you're out there. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we love playing with each other. I mean, I want to get the best shot possible, so I have a three. Two people are flying out at me, so then I have a wide open layup under the basket. So I mean, I'm gonna do whatever the team needs, and she was wide open, so why not pass the ball? There are so many new faces on this team from a year ago. Six returners, six portal players, a couple freshmen as well. What has it been like building that chemistry, not only on the court but off of it for you guys? <laughs> um, it's come pretty easy. Like our team is just full of a bunch of really good kids, um, just good humans. Even the, like all the coaching staff. And so when you have that many good girls in a locker room, like the chemistry is gonna it's gonna happen by itself. Um, and on the court, like you know these these kids just want to work hard and want to be better and want to you know win. Um, a lot of these girls haven't got a lot of wins in their career, and so they just want to go out there and fight um, and and yeah show the world what we do. So it's been it's been pretty seamless and easy. Yeah, I'd say it's been a pretty easy transition. I was kind of surprised. Like, when you have that many new people, usually it's hard to get all of us going in the same direction. But I feel like we all have the right goals in mind, so we're all willing to do whatever it takes to get there. How uh, calming is it for you all on the court whenever you have an experienced general like Jaden leading the offense? Yeah, it's great. Having Jaden at the point guard, I mean, she shot – how many shots did she even take? Six, six, six shots. Like, Jaden could shoot the ball every time she comes on the court because mm -hmm. she's so fast. And, can get blown by anybody, but um, just knowing that she wants to find her teammates and find the best play possible, um, it's great to play with her. Yeah, yeah, she's a she's a pass first point guard, but she can also score the ball, you know, incredibly well. So she's so much fun to play with, and she's just such a good leader, um, just on and off the court. Like she just her vision, her her communication skills, she's incredible. Madison, for you, eleven boards. Can you talk about your defensive effort tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, kind of just going to get the ball. I mean, obviously in the zone, it's kind of hard to rebound, um, like Mark said, but just going after the ball. Um, when it goes up, sometimes I have to focus a little bit more on boxing my player out than just going to get the ball, but I'm um, just going to find that ball. Um, they're crashing really hard, so I mean, I feel like just go get it. You got another game Wednesday, I believe, another game Sunday. What do you guys want to work on between now and those two games to see yourselves take a step in the right direction? I'm fouling. Yeah, fouling. <laughs> Um, yeah, we've, we've like in our, our first couple of scrimmages too, we struggle with that. And so we've been getting better every game. Um, but fouling, just taking care of the ball, um, block, you know, blocking out like the little things. Um, but all in all, just like playing together, continuing to get out those jitters. And, and you know, there was a, a stretch in the third quarter there where like that was our team. Like you could see it, it was like easy flowing. We were getting really good shots um, and just playing like high level defense and offense back to back. 
Um, and so making those stretches longer um, throughout the whole game is what we're going to work on. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we only had 14 turnovers, 18 assists. So I mean, I feel like that's how you just take care of the ball a little bit better. Um, and no fouls. So. so you talk about the fouling you want to improve on. Is that a byproduct of kind of the rust, knocking the rust off? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I, I, at, my, um, at Oregon, like, I had formed bad habits just because I was just, you know, kind of just got away with it. Um, and so, you know, like, that gets with being lazy, I just foul, right? And so blocking out, um, and it was just, like, laziness. And so getting that out of my game and out of my system. Um, but, yeah, rustiness, nervousness, um, one or two bad calls from How's the coaching staff helped y'all integrate into TCU and as it come together as a team? Um, I feel like it's been great. I mean, they're basically as new as we are. So it's kind of like we're kind of figuring it out as they're figuring it out. But they've done a great job. I mean, we have a great Dobo who helps us with everything. I feel like she's been here for, like, years. And we have Ola who's, like, she basically she could run TCU if she wanted to. <laughs> but, like, they've, like, helped us, like, just, like, kind of get our feet wet. And, um, I mean, they're figuring it out, too, so. 18 assists on 27 made shots tonight. Is that where you guys want to be? Yeah, 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 yeah. pretty good. Mm. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. Anything else for these two?